How tight should your blades be and why? The answer, not too loose and not too tight. If the blades are too tight, they won't be able to line up and straighten out perfectly on spool up and there will be a lot of vibration. If the blades are too loose, you can get a tail strike and chop your tail off when you're throwing it around and using more collective and cyclic. This is because the increase in drag with more pitch can overcome the centrifugal force of the blades, making the blades lag. That means drop behind where they should be and with a lot of collective, they can hit the tail boom and chop it off. That's not ideal. So how do we check they're correct? A common method is to hold your heli on its side, the blade should stay horizontal and maintain their position. Now give it a bit of a push down and the blade should drop down a bit, about 45 degrees should be good. Make sure they're both dropping down the same amount. Bigger helis should be tighter, but I guess if you're flying something like a 6 or 700, you're probably not watching this. Now tail blades. Not quite as important, you don't even need them really. After all, Alan Zabu Jr. doesn't even use tail blades and he can hover perfectly. But seriously, just have them snug so they're not floppy, but they shouldn't be hard to move with your fingers.